Hi there, landlubbers. This be Lawrence from the Firebase team. And this be Paral Soy from the Google Developer Relations team. And today we're going to talk with you about pirate metrics. So what are pirate metrics? It's a term coined by Dave McClure of 500 Startups. They simplify and break down a product user's life cycle, explaining the right parameters to track. The first element in any user life cycle is the acquisition of that user, meaning the users install your app or visit your site. Now, users are acquired in many different ways, either organically, such as through social media communications, app store optimization, search, news, content marketing, or it can also be inorganically, which is usually advertising. Congratulations, you have acquired a user. However, your job is less than half done. What you really need to do is show them the true value of your product. You want to get them hooked, or in other words, you want to activate them. So if you have a game where pirates compete with each other, you want to ensure that a user maybe at least completes a few levels to see the awesome graphics, the twists and turns in the storyline, the gameplay, and all those other things that make the game so special. The apps and game industry is a rough scene. And even if you activate users, you're going to face challenges to keep them coming back. A typical person only uses about 26% of their installed apps daily. A ton of users either uninstall or simply forget about the application in the first few days. So the goal for any healthy product is to find a strategy to get them to retain their users. If you're churning a lot of your users, the money that you're spending on acquiring them, it's, it's kind of getting wasted. You also want your users to be the biggest advocates. No acquisition strategy is as powerful as organic word of mouth campaign. Like, if users love your product, they generally want your friends to try it out as well. They want to make it easy for your users to refer your product, and this sea biscuit's delicious. Do you want to try some? Aye, of course. You see, your product should be just as easy to share as this sea biscuit was. And ultimately, you want to collect some treasure. In other words, you want to monetize your users. You want to identify which users bring in more revenue and understand what makes them want to pay. And with this knowledge, you could aim to monetize more of your users and also maybe get those who are already using your application to stick around a bit longer so that they can enjoy it more. So let's summarize the user lifecycle. We have the following five stages. Acquisition, activation, retention, referral, and revenue. These five stages are together called pirate metrics. Still wondering why? Well, take the first letter of each of the elements and you get Arr! In the coming videos, we're going to look at each metric individually and also show you how you can use Firebase to track and improve them. To watch the next videos, click here. And don't forget to subscribe. It likes chilies, no sea biscuits. It's an ex-parrot. Bereft of life, it rests in peace.